Now, it's a really big year for Sevens. You've got the World Cup as well as the IRB series, and, and the whole thing's going to be having its profile raised. Yeah, no, absolutely, and I think it, you know, it deserves to be. Yeah, it's a wonderful... Um, it's a wonderful game to be part of, it's a wonderful game to watch and it, you know, from a Scottish rugby point of view it's a great game to develop players um, and that's not that you know, we look upon ourselves as a development team, we are the Scotland Sevens team and therefore you know, we, are, we are about performing um, but it provides an opportunity for um, you know, talented players to experience international rugby at the highest level uh, and hopefully use that as a springboard to, to better and uh, bigger things. Now, first up, it's Dubai and South Africa. Very warm place, Dubai. We were at Las Wade at the moment. It's not, not so warm, is it? No, it's uh, pretty windy, but uh, Las Wade's a lovely place. Um, but no, Dubai, again, it's, it's an amazing place. It's one of these um, you know, countries that when you go to, it's uh, a unique experience. Uh, and it will be tremendous to be at a new venue. You know, Obviously, they've invested heavily for the World Cup. Uh, and we've got a bit of a dry run um, in a week's time. Which is, you know, which is great for me as as a coach and also the players to experience that. Um, and it will be, you know, that the heat will bring challenges. Um, but you know, we we don't talk about that. You know, we have to to look after what we can do, and that's about you know getting the players mentally and physically and, and technically and tactically prepared for the challenge. Um, and whether it's uh, windy at last week or whether it's you know sunny in Dubai, we'll be we'll be going out to to put on a performance. Now this year, of course, we've uh, we've got a few uh, new faces in, but uh, some old faces in there as well. Chris Fasaro, Jamie Hunter, uh, no Scott Forrest though. Sadly, he's uh, gone out injured, broken leg, and his uh, place uh, as captain has been taken by Roddy Grant. Yeah, I mean, devastating for for Scott, you know, as as an individual and uh, and a blow to our to our squad. We can't be naive about that, you know, Scott's been with me for the last two years um, as captain and has been integral to the, to the improvements we've made um, in the programme in the last two years. So, you know, I lost um, not to have Scott, I lost not to have Mike Adamson either, so we've probably lost our two most experienced players um, in a single blow, but the other guys will come in, Roddy will take over as, as captain, he's, you know, he's a natural leader, he's um, developed uh, immensely since he's been away in the, the John McPhill Scholarship over the summer in New Zealand and you know I'm confident he can can carry the, the, the mantle that, that Scott has handed over to him. Um, and a number of other guys, you know, you've mentioned Chris, Jamie, we've got Grant Anderson, Chris Kinlock. We've got players that have been involved before um, and we need, now need to spread uh, that leadership load and that's something we've been speaking as a, as a group about and that you know we can't uh, look round about for certain individuals now we need to collectively as a team take that responsibility take ownership for our game and uh, you know push our performance on. It's a big step up of course for some of these youngsters coming through the Graham Hogs, the Rory Hutton's let's take a couple of the, the Hoik people uh, who've been doing tremendous things for their club uh, down at Mansfield Park but uh, a big step up to Dubai. Yeah, no, it is a big step up. Uh, you know, I've said to these players before that you know everything they've done in the past is now going to be magnified 10, 20, 30 times um, on that world stage. Massive, you know, pain public, massive viewing public, um, and playing against players that if you make a mistake, you're punished. And you know that's a big thing for us. It's the intensity of competition that they're going to be faced with, uh, and the challenge for these guys is how quickly can they can they learn to cope with that. You know, Rory and Graham. Um, have been performing well in the academy. Um, you know, Rory's just come on board full time this year. Graham's been involved for a couple of years. Um, Graham was actually involved with us two seasons ago, and then was out injured last year. And they've both been performing well at, uh, at Hoyk, and they deserve the opportunity to go out um, onto that world stage and show the, you know, show the public what they can do.